to add some tape to my flexi finger so that I can put a form on it. Because the flexi fingers are silicone, the forms don't stick very well to it. So I'm going to place my form. Good. And now I'm going to use my square brush, my rhinestone square brush, to extend the nail with clear thin. Now I'm going to just take off my form, now that it's cured. I'm going to get a pair of scissors to cut the tape. There we go. So now I'm going to put another really thin layer of clear thin over the entire nail. And I'm just going to cure that for about 30 seconds. And just so we can see the, the nail color better, I'm just going to take some of my Cover Pink Charisma Gel and put it on the body of the nail. Just give it a little bit more of a natural hue instead of having the white tip color. So you can use this in reverse French or you can just use it as a way to balance out the color on the nails, just depending on how thick you apply it. So I'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to use my striper brush from my website. See if you can see the bristles here. I've, de I've cut some of the outside bristles to make it really, really thin. You can see that there. And I'm going to use, I'm going to start out with Sunlit Coral, that's the color here. I'm just going to draw in the moon in Sunlit Coral. Now I'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to mix a little bit of this pewter color with Robin's Egg. And I think this is about equal parts. Doesn't really matter, you can just mix to whatever color you like. Um, I decided to add a little bit more of the robin's egg. 
because I want more of the teal color and just a little bit of the pewter shimmer. And now I'm just going to add a touch of the Snow White gel. Just to soften it up. Okay. So now I'm going to use my white builder gel. almost at the bottom of the container here. And I'm going to draw half or sculpt in half of my white French. And I'm just going to blend the white down a little bit. I'll wipe my smile line. And I'm going to cure that for about 30 seconds also. I'm just going to show you briefly here before I put it in the light that you want the white to be gradually, oops, gradually going towards the free edge. Probably see it better that way. So now my next step is to take the gel mixture and I'm going to place it on the edge and kind of fade it upwards. And I'm just going to just gently tap on the white. Kind of blend the jaw. And my brush is fairly dry, so there's not really anything on it. And I'm going to cure that for another 30 seconds. So now I'm going to add a little bit of glitter accent and I actually just got these in from my store. I'm not sure if you can how good you can see. They're kind of they're clear but also really really shiny. So they'll take on whatever color goes underneath. So they're like little little windows. So I'm just gonna wipe my brush here really quick. And I'm gonna grab some more um, some base gel from Canada Nail Supplies because it's uh, if you've seen in my other videos I really like using this for adding glitter and other accents because it's really really thin and watery and it really helps embellishments like glitter to lay flat so I'm just gonna pick up some pieces You can see where you don't really need to worry too much about how your white gel fades into your color gel because when you put the glitter over it, it, it kind of blends it for you. Okay, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the free edge with my clear thin gel. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds so you can see that the free edge is covered. And now I'm going to fill in the body of the nail. And this is a fairly thin viscosity gel. So I'm going to do this in two coats. One because I don't want, if this was a customer, I wouldn't want to create a lot of heat transfer. Um, two, because I want it to cure nice and evenly. And I don't want to add excess product and have it bulky and end up costing myself more time when I file. So now I'm going to put my second coat of my clear thin gel. I'm just going to wipe it smooth here. And then I'm going to do a final cure for two minutes. Okay, so now that I've cured it for two minutes, I took off the inhibition layer and I'm going to file it. Okay, so now that I'm done filing, I'm just going to show you the sides here. And I'm just going to, because it's a flexi finger, I can show you the free edge. And I'm just going to buff it and then put my nail art on. So now I have added my 3D candies and my clear bow to my nail. The 3D candies and the clear bows I'm actually going to be doing on my gel 2, gel 102 um, class that I have on my website. So you can check that out there.